Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums. I'm back on over. I'm back on in to No Man's Sky playing the expedition. And expedition wise, we're now on phase four. Let's go catch some more fish, people. Yeah, that's why we're here. Right now, and you can see I've got my new gnarly get up. Looking freaking dapper. Let's go. Hopefully, we get the underwater jetpack next, people. Now, well, let's fly on out then, shall we? And let's get on to this, I guess. How are my warp engines doing? Let's just check. Are they fully fueled? They're on 85%, which is more than enough. We get away from the old Nexus. Damn it! Pulse! Zap! And away we go. Up a chow! And another jump. And another jump. Easy! Mun peasy! Lemon! Mun squeezy! And we've arrived! Huh. Loads of asteroids. Completely destroying my point that I'm getting hardly any opportunities to get tritium. There's, there's a whole field of tritium right here to be had. Apart from I can't shoot any of them. What the flying fudge? Take that, rocks of evil! Give me some frickin' tritium! There we go, we've got some anyway. Right, let's head down to the planet, to the secret fishing spot that is named Secret Fishing Spot. So it makes you wonder just how secret is it. And as we're flying down majestically, I can see a comms ball. So I'm going to fly to the comms ball rather than to that marker because it's a approxime location. I'm thinking this comms ball is probably more than likely the place I need to be. So let's head there, let's touch on down and see with our eye people, shall we? Oh, look at all these comms balls. There's freaking loads of them. Yeah, uh, I kind of... Although I like the fact that they alert me to where stuff is. Sometimes you get the odd political message in here. Hello from Germany. Well, hello, Germany. Some of them do make me chuckle, though. Some of them are awesome. Fisher, Fisher, dinner. Heck yes. Like that one. That's a political one. Free hog cog. I play games to escape all of that sort of stuff. And I've seen that at every single rendezvous point so far. What the... Th Ha! See what I mean? Sometimes they're super funny. Okay, right. Um, right, well, I've, I've got here, haven't I? Have we got to go inside? Have we got to go touch something? Let's go see, shall we? Done. That's it. Okay. We have reached the secret fishing spot, and I've run out of technology slots. I could do with unlocking those, to be honest. I do need more inventory as well, though. It's um, it's a little bit of a hard choice at the moment, isn't it? But look, I've got all this to put in there. So look at that. I can stick that on there, and then I can move all this stuff over here, maybe. Yeah, let's move all my movement modules over there. Nice. And then hopefully all my protection modules can go in here. That's what I'm thinking, anyway. Because look, we're getting loads of these. We've got two underwatery ones. Boom. Boom. There's probably a better layout to be had there, to be fair, but you know, it is what it is. There we go. That's freed me up some slottage down here anyway. What's this? Suspicious packet. I don't know what that gave me, but you know, it's done now. Right. Anything inside of my ship that I can install a cage as well? Nope. I think we're all good for tech. But all these empty messages in a bottle, I'm going to go stick those on my freighter in a bit, people. Okay. All right, well, we've done a little bit of inventory cleanup. Next, we've got to land a message from the angler. Okay, I don't know how close we are to water. Is there some water right here? There is, isn't there? There we go. All right, well, let's uh, let's start let's start doing some fishing, shall we? So, to get a message, you want to take your bait off your hook, especially that. I want to keep my spicy, spicy, spicy. For, ah, for fudge's sake. You know, there's popping up with political messages on my screen, so I said fudge sake. Right, here we go. Come on. You know you want to. Oh, plonk. Oh, we got you. You're mine. Okay, I well, caught an uncommon fish with no bait. What the flying fudge. All right. Maybe it still had a taste, a taste of that um, the spice jam or whatever it is on there, the spice chum. Hello, said the fish. No, it was a comms ball. Oh, wait. get here, you little sucker. Oh, yeah, we've got a mud crab. I'll let you know when I get the freaking bottle. There's that funny one again. 
Cool. Okay, Johns, I just landed a message in a bottle. I guess. Let's go and unseal that then. Oh, no, it's not that one. Where's the sealed one? That one? That one? Nope, it's this one over here. Boom. It is now unsealed. Dawn of day seven. We are running low on perimeter beacons. Perimeter beacons. We can find enough scrap to begin rebuilding. I know it. Oh, okay. Fine. Well, there we go, people. We have caught my message in a bottle. What's next? Hold on. Aquatic treasure, Shadow Lords. Treasure up a message from the angler. Well, I'm pretty sure I just freaking did that. Um. What the fudge? Uh, okay, then. I just did that and it didn't actually work. Uh, righty then. I guess I'm going to catch a second one. Locate a suitable body of water, which hopefully this is. Let's try that again then. Plop. I'll be back at it, people. How random. Well, I've never caught one of this before. Rusted technology. Used to begin the installation probe. What the fudge is this? Okay. Let's stick it there then. I don't know what that's done, but it's um permanently damaged. It doesn't look the best. It doesn't look too bad either. Um, can I get rid of that one? Maybe? Nope, still broken technology. I shouldn't have got rid of that one. Damn it! And now I haven't got the condensed carbon to put it back in again. Alright, well... They're rocket boots. Let's just get rid of that one then. Let's stick that there. Because this one's got to be special for some reason, hasn't it? Alright, strange. Increase the... Yeah, okay. Done. I need to gather some carbon now. I've got the plus carbon. I haven't got no normal carbon. And I think my mission might be broken anyway. Yeah, well, I've got some carbon. I'm going to shoot in some plants. I think I can refix this again, I guess, now. Fun times. Okay, so we've got that in. Lovely jubbly. And, um, yeah, that's kind of that. I think things are broken, though. I'm on my freighter, so I'm just going to put these bottles that I've got on my freighter for now. I've also got one on my starship, haven't I? So let's go stick that over there, too. And I don't know what's going on. I mean, I did dredge up a bottle. It didn't give me... It didn't move me on. It didn't give me the next thing. So that's a bit weird, isn't it? Okay. Land 7 high temperature fish. Okay. Well, in this system, I don't think there is a high temperature planet. We've got a... Uh, that's, that's a swamp planet. Frost crystal with no water. Gamma root... We've got copper. We've got a solarium one there, but it doesn't look like it's got any water from what I can see from up here. It's hard to say, though. We'll fly out and have a look, but I'm... Oh, no, look. It says there, access the galaxy map. Okay. While in the starship. Let's see if it points me to where I need to go. And we'll try dredging up a bottle. Oh, for fudge, just let me freaking get out of here. Cool. Okay, well, it's taken me to there. Let's see. Well, Jams, it's taken me to this system, but there's no hot planet here. <laughs> no hot planet here that's got water anyway. There's that one, but it says arid. I'm not seeing any water on it. I could be wrong, but mm, doesn't look like it from here. See, so, yeah, that one's the frost crystal world. Let's just spin it around. I mean, that that's the one. That's Cactus Flesh and Pyrite. Oh, it's going to be on the opposite side of here, isn't it? I'm not going to be able to see it. Alright. Well, I mean, I could do the final rendezvous, but I want to do all these in order, really. Yeah, that's definitely not got no water on it, that one. Alright, let's just see if we can randomly find a Solarium planet in close proximity, shall we? Let's not go too far away. Let's just uh, jump over, say, there. 
Oh, that's good. That's dissonant. We want one that says water. We want one that's got quite a few planets. That one's got quite a few planets. You can tell by the galactic map type thing. And it doesn't look like there's any moons. Moons have no water. So we go there because it all looks like planets to me. OK, on the last tab, there's sell 5,000 pounds worth of fish. All right, I've got 5,000. I haven't sold any to Krenus. I've got some on me. I need to free up some inventory space. I'm just going to try selling them in here and see if the actual monetary value goes up a bit. OK, so sell and let's see if I can sell some fish. Boom. We'll sell the old boots as well. Uh, let's not even sell the edible chum. We'll sell that and we'll sell the needlefish. Have we got any on our ship? No, we haven't. Okay, has it actually gone up or down? It has gone up to 14,000. So it's just sell them at a galactic trade terminal. That's good to know. Okay. Okay, chums. Well, this system hasn't got a solarium planet that has water so i'm going to go to my catalog go over to materials go over to plants and i'm going to select solarium and it's now found a solarium planet from the galactic map and i've just got to hope there's one that has water so we go there's one right there right in the same neighborhood it says water is in the system Fingers crossed, eh, people? Fingers crossed. Well, I've come down to the Solarium planet because it was hard to tell from space. I mean, look, there we go. But no, no, sadly not. Has no water. Ah, they're not making this easy. Well, charms. Ah, I've gone back to this one. Call of the water. Land a message from the angler. I couldn't find a hot planet with water to save my freaking life. So um, hopefully we'll just stumble across it by accident as we do the rest. But I'm going to do this one first, because if this one doesn't work, then there's no point in me doing much. So there you go. Let's cast out. I've got no bait on the line. And hopefully we're going to get another bottle. I'm wondering whether there might be just random bottles with random messages. But then we're looking for a specific angular message. I mean, it's still giving me that bit of text. So we shall see. What have we got on this first hook? We've got a little uh, scut fish. Right. I'll continue. I'll let you know if I get the bottle. Well, would you look at that? We did get another bottle and it says the angler inside. So here we go. I don't think the last one did. No, oh, it's giving me another portal code. It it was right. It was here. After all these light years, all these doubts, it's finally mine. Oh, and how it shines like fire in the water. Beautifully impossible. And it's given us a portal code that ends in a double reflection. Mm. This ends in a double reflection. Hold on. Is that exactly the same portal code? It could be. It looks fairly similar, doesn't it? Okay, cool. Well, we've got that then. Pop. Sweet. We've got some aquatic treasure and shadow laws times five. Very nice. Okay, now let's hit this up. Right, anglers must apply a fishing rod. Yes, we've got that. Who you'll catch. Specific habitat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, right. Well, this could be quite good fun, couldn't it? Right, well, let's go and head up into my ship. Let's fly up into the sky. Zoom. And what I'm thinking, if it, if it just takes me on the expedition path. Hold on. Let's see if it's got current mission. Holy fudge. Okay. Let's see if it's got current mission, because that's expedition route. Let's see if we can do current mission. Custom waypoint just gives expedition route. Doesn't give current mission. So it's going to take me there as if I need to go to the next part of the rendezvous, you know? And I already know that there's not a Solarium planet with water in this system. What I could do is go through my discoveries and see if there was a planet that I may have just passed by, maybe say in Rendezvous 1, that was Solarium with water, and then hopefully just portal back there. I'll have a look at my discoveries list, so I'll, sh I'll show you what I mean. So Now, we already know, if I go to discoveries right now, that there is a Solarium planet here, but it hasn't got water. There's a Starball world, Frost world, and whatever the fudge that is. Okay, so if I just click on these, 
discovered two days two days ago by me apparently all right well let's go through some of these previous ones the angular there gamma solarium but yeah no water on there what's this one down the bottom there frost crystal okay go down one we've got south solarium and it's got water a torrid planet that's what we're after so we need to go to eugali eugali okay right well let's go inside of the station let's see if we can find eugali on the old map shall we and we'll jump back there heck yes yeah. so it looks like we've got something in our back pocket there people yeah let's go hit this up then boom lovely chaplain eh? space stations and we were looking for eugali there it is it's rendezvous free wasn't i just in rendezvous oh i have no idea right we'll go there then sweet okay so we've arrived okay to eugali let's have a quick look see shall we gamma root hold on no this isn't this isn't what i freaking wanted okay that's that was weird it sh it so showed a solarium planet earlier and now it hasn't got water on it what the actual flying okay let's try here ah okay so although it says yugali at the top it's not it's actually sasith okay well that was freaking weird wasn't it right so now i need to set a waypoint there because i don't think that one is on my portal list sometimes things are a little bit janky a little bit janky oh it is there it's rendezvous too cool we'll go there then nightmare okay dokey let's have a look see if we're in the right system now it's the ringed planet that we want yes and we're going there to the solarium world nice and look we've already caught one high temperature fish that's what made me start thinking I've already been to a high temperature world that's got fish. Yeah! That guess. You can see that down there where the little where the little guy is. Okay, right, here we go. That's a cactus flash one. We, we want the ringed planet. There it is, there. Zoom. Lovely. Let's lock on. Let's get on down. I might, if I haven't already, put a base on this and uh, put up some of those little pods, you know, for the auto fishing. I might get that done on there okay well i've made myself a nice little base here little jetty going down to the oceans now what i'm thinking is i could do with making some more of this hot chili chum or spicy chum to make that though i'm going to need quite a lot of phosphorus and mordite and dehydrogen jelly now on a planet such as this there is phosphorus on this planet because it is a solarium world but I need to go further inland to go get it. So I'm going to fly in my ship. I'm going to go to some phosphorus deposits and dig them up. So we go. Let's go there then. So if I just use my economy scanner, that should help me locate a trading post, which is definitely going to be inland. So I just got to wait for the marker to appear. There it is over there. Cheeky cheeky. Fly on up and fly on over. Zoom. And I think in this system as well, I think there might be a planet. There's a marshy planet there that's got Mordite deposits. So we go there next and get the Mordite. Thank you. Yeah, I'm on my phosphorus deposit. Let's go dig a load of this up then. I'm going to shrink the beam by pressing L1. So I get a lot more, but it takes me a lot longer to mine all this out the ground. Right, then I'm going to fly to that other planet with Mordite. I mean, technically, what you can do, you see that little guy over there? You can kill these and get a shed load of Mordite killing these. Takes a fair bit of killing, though. It's a bit cruel. There you go. Got meaty chunks as well. There you go. You only, I only got 18 Mordite for murdering that creature. I don't think hearing its screams is quite worth it. So I'll probably go to the Mordite planet and dig the Mordite out of the ground rather than kill a whole herd of hippos, you know? Okay, chums. I just had a thought. Rather than go dig the Mordite up, what I can do is just go to my refiner over here, get the bait that I've already got. Hopefully I can put bait in here. 
I haven't tried this. So there you go, there's my spicy chum. Put it inside of my portable refiner here. And then if I've got enough metal plating, which I just bought some from this trading post, I just bought six of them. I can just put one on top of the other like so. And again. And again. I can build six of them. Then if I just pick them up. One. You should see that I get loads of spicy chum now. Sweet. Now if I put it down. Go over to it. I can put in the whole stack of spicy chum. Which hopefully I've got loads of it now. Which I've got 48. Put that in. I'm going to get 6 times 48. I mean you can do the math. It'd be pretty darn freaking nice wouldn't it. And I can do this with all the other baits that I've got as well. So I'm not going to run out of baits for the rest of this expedition. Lovely. So I might get some more nocturnal baits. I might get some more day baits. I think that's all I really need. Right, then I can fly back to my base. I've still got those two automated pots there. They might have caught one of those fish for me. We'll have to check. I don't think it's been long enough though. Have a look, see anyway. Let's see if they've got anything in them. No, not yet. What about you? I'll put this one down a couple of seconds before. It might have one fish in there. No. Nope. No, it does not. Right, well, let's uh, bait up my hook. And I think I'll be putting on the lure that helps me catch slightly rarer fish. And let's, uh, let's get into it. Let's uh, plop that into the water. Now, something I've noticed is when you get the little fish appear, the little guys, when they go to hit, if you can hit it just before they hit the hook, as the line goes yellow, sometimes you get an even rarer fish. But you've got to be really good with your timing, like that. You see that? Bang! There we go. Well, it was common, so does not really put proof to the pudding on that theory, did it? But if you can, you just have to hit it a second, well, a millisecond before it hits it, or else it's too late, and then you get no fish on hook. The timing is, it's like freaking Elden Ring timing. It's freaking insanely difficult. It's like performing a parry, you know? See, look, I've missed it there. No fish on hook, and then you lose your bait too. It is better to just wait till it goes under the wave. But I did get an A-class fish doing that earlier today. So, you know. And there's no chance I'm going to risk it right now when the waves are this crazy. Let's just wait till it goes under. It's usually the third time on the third hit. Well, yeah, okay, that was the third hit then. There we go. Fourth. Oh, fudging. Do you have a laugh? Okay, yeah, let's get rid of a couple of these uh, refiners. Right, okay. Well, my jubin days are over now. I'm going to get rid of all of them. Okay. Now, I was thinking, what if I crafted the trade rocket? Could I just stick all my fish in a trade rocket, send it up and get the units? I might have to try that in the next phase, people. Oh, God, that fish came out of the water, didn't he? These waves are mental. Oh, okay. Lost my bait there. Wow. I'm feeling a bit seasick watching that go round. Holy moly. This is not a car motion by any stretch of the imagination, is it? Come on, guys. There we go. We've got one. Right. Well, I'm just going to carry on fishing until I start hitting some uncommons. And I'll let you know when I get one. Okay. Well, this one... It's rarer than uncommon. And it says Scorched Wells. Lovely Altapas. Let's see if that one counted. Yes, I now have two of seven. Brilliante! Comes, I think I've caught another one. A Solar Roach. A solar Roach, daylight hours, uncommon, high temperatures. There we go. Pretty nice. So knowing that it's gerineal, I might do better with the water bob, the sun bob. It's more likely to catch a uh, gerineal fish. I could probably catch quite a few of those if I was using that one, rather than using this one that attracts rare fish. Could give the sun orb a go, couldn't I? No, we'll try that in a second. Just see how we get on with one more of these. 
Yeah, see, I'm catching quite a lot of that sort of stuff. So let's let's try this. Let's try the sun orb. One second. Let's take off the spice chum. Let's put in this dangling orb. Let's see how we get on. Okay. I'll show you just the first catch. See how we do. Go on, little fishy. I'm gonna get you, little fishy. I'm gonna get you, little fish. Look at this. Cat from Red Dwarf. Yeah, there's a song by him. It's not a Captain Steve original. No, by any stretch of the imagination. Do you want little fish? Yes. It's uncommon scorched wells. Not daytime, but yeah, that worked anyway. So what are we on now? Four of seven, I guess. I reconvene when we're on, when I catch seven of seven. Okay, Charles. Well, I've actually caught six of seven now. It'd be nice to get seven of nine, wouldn't it? But ha 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 ha! That'll be a catch. But here we go. Let's see what we get now. Star Trek joke, people. Star Trek. Come on! Oh, and it's on! The fish is on! And what have we got? Dang it! Dang it! I was hoping you'd see me catch it live, but no, no such luck. Uh, I just caught a magma! A magma shark? What the flying fudge? That is pretty cool. That's a rare catch. I still haven't managed to catch an S-Class. I saw people catch three. I ain't caught one S-Class. But there we go, we've done it. In hot water. Okay, right, fair enough. Um, let's put that away then. And let's um, go stone my fish. Lovely jubbly. That's quite a good catch of fish that I've got there, people. Well, we can claim our reward. Nice. Sweet. What's next, then? Harvest 15 living pearls. I guess I'm going to have to do that in the ocean. Um, that means getting wet. Well, and again, I am dressed for it. I am dressed for it, people. We can, we can go do that, I'm sure. Okay, right. Let's go do that, then, peeps. Right. Well, we better get diving into the ocean then. Right, there we go. Flop. Right, this is going to be quite tedious. I mean, there are lots around. It's not hard to find them. The tedious part is, is grabbing them. Right, so I'm going to need my mining laser. Okay. Now, sometimes these clams can be underneath the ground as well sometimes they're not where you hope they would be but you have to swim down next to them get fairly close zap it it will open run in grab it get out before it slams shut and bites your little fingers okay so here we go zap oh that knocked me back a bit didn't it oh i'm gonna get bit no i'm good cool so we've got two so far armored clams detected um, I would have thought it would have given me a count, to be honest, of how many I've got so far. There's one over here, 200 odd used. Let's go over there. Let's go grab that one in. Lovely. And sometimes a sweep scanner. Sometimes I've been doing this in the past, and as I've been swimming to one pearl, I've come across like about two others on my way. So I wouldn't overly super rely on the sweep scanner. Also, look around with your eye peepers. You know, and make sure that you don't see any of your, yourself that you're swimming past. But yeah, sometimes I find that they're in the clusters as well. You can get there and you can find like several in the one spot, but it doesn't look like we're going to be so lucky. I should be so lucky, 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 lucky. Okay, cool. There's one here. There. I treat you guys, don't know, my swinging, my singing exploits almost every episode. Yeah, some would say torture, but, um,. I, I, I don't know. I think I might have missed my vocation, you know. Okay, right. Let's head on over this way. I should have been a, a singer on a professional capacity, maybe. I don't know. I've got skills, people. What can I say? Hunting pearls is not one of them. Anyway, I'll reconvene when I've got a, a freaking shed ton of these, hey? Yeah, Charles, well, I was lucky. I've got two there. Look, there's a third one right behind here. The only thing is, the other ones are going to bite me as I go close to it, aren't they? There we go. I've got loads. I've got loads of them now. How many have I actually picked up? I've got 13. I think I need 15. So I only need three more. So hopefully I'll reconvene in a moment. Oh, hold on. Is there any closer ones than that? 
Well, kind of is, kind of isn't. Right, we'll head over there. Something to note, people, if you need oxygen, you can sort of zap these kelp sacks. And then you can get the kelp sacks and stick them in here to refine them into oxygen. You don't get a great deal of kelp sacks by zapping them. You don't get a great deal of oxygen by recycling them. But it's, it's a way to keep your oxygen slightly topped up while you're diving underwater. So here we go. Let's go grab that. Grab another one. Oh, you get Okay, and then what I need to do to top up my oxygen is take that out of there. Lovely jubbly, straight into there. And from the quick menu, the one that's empty, top it up. There we go. Okay, there we go, heading over there. Was there one a little bit closer there? Yeah, there is. Let's get to that one. Ah, put down a beacon, hasn't it? Yeah. Get rid of the beacon. I don't want the beacon there. Okay, here we go. Oh, we've got a couple of clams here, I think. Yes, we've hit a treasure trove of clams. I say a treasure trove. We've got two. Got to be careful of this thing in the middle, because that's a geyser. It's going to blow any second now. Don't want to be near that. and get damage. Ah! There you go. Extreme heat damage detected. Blasted me all the way over here. We did get our pearls of wisdom, though. Okay, lovely. Let's head back up to the surface, where I don't have to worry about oxygen anymore, and see how far we've travelled from our ship, which is freaking miles. Look at those little jellyfish still following me. I hatched those ages ago. They don't give up, do they? Oh, sweet. Look at that. Got a frigate flying over and everything. Okay, anyway, let's, uh, let's claim that then. Terrifying sample. Great. Now, these terrifying samples, they actually say that there's a curse that's going to follow you across the stars. I really wish Hello Games would do something with that. I really wish they would actually give it some sort of curse that actually happens. Look, look there you go. A Napoleon relic that haunted remains of some abyssal horror. It has lived at least 210 lifetimes and will live many more again. Will stalk the bearer across the galaxy and the next, unless it's sold before the curse has taken effect. It'd be cool if there was an actual curse. I don't think there is. At least I haven't actually encountered anything. Let me know in the comments if you've ever encountered some sort of curse from that. But I really wish Hello Games would actually add in some sort of super space creature that's an abyssal horror that actually chases you down and actually you know, is a threat of some kind. It'd be cool to see this curse come into effect, is what I'm saying. Okay, Jums, you can probably see that little doohickey down there. It says I need to land 100 fish. 100 fish! It says equip the fishing rod, but I just want to see whether these count. If there's any inside this pod. Come on, let me open it. So I had 73. There's one. There's two. Another three. That should take us up close to 80, if it has worked. Mm, has it worked? No, I've still got 73. Dang it! So I have to catch them using my fishing rod. This doesn't actually count. Oh well, we well, may as well get these because they're freaking sitting there for free, aren't they? Just flapping about all willy-nilly. Sweet. Alright, well I might as well screw all those away so I'm not going to have enough room for my other fish now. Well, I think we've got a lot of fish to sell. We're going to freaking market when we get to that point. I guess. Righto. Um, let's get fishing then. Hapa chow! I've got another 20 odd fish to land, people, or something, if my map is right. I'll see you guys in 20 fishes from now. Oh, wow! I caught a turtle! I got a turtle! And I'm only what? I've only got to catch another three now. Something I've noticed now, I've been doing this for quite some time now, is the music changes to this really relaxing ambiance type music. It's actually quite nice. It's chilling. Yes! You're on my hook, fishy man, fish fish. Yeah. Since it's night time, I've changed my actual bait to the shadow lore as well, as you can see from right up at the top there. Just to catch a couple of night fishes so I can try and complete the catalogue a little bit more. I'm hoping that when I end the expedition, everything that I've caught and everything that I've catalogued oh, goes over to my main legacy save, you know? Come on. Yeah, we are on. Yeah, fish on. Oh, we've got another turtle. That's pretty darn nice. Okay, cool. Oh, I, be I better just see that I'm not running out of space. Mm. Let's go and stow a load of these away. 
Yeah, we're getting close on space, I think. Holy fudge, my box is nearly full. We've only got to get one more fish. One more fish. It's our last fish. Be a good fish. Now, I have been toying with, as soon as the fish hits the float, striking. But I've only managed to achieve it once or twice. So it's really not really worth doing. And every time I have, I've only got green and blues. It hasn't resulted in a better catch for me. So I don't know if there is rhyme or reason to catching legendary or S-class fish. Maybe I just have to get a better bait. Oh, we got him. Boom. Okay. Yeah. I haven't really worked it out, to be honest. How you, how you catch an S-class fish? If you know, let us know. Yeah. Okay, we'll put that away. Let's go into here. Chuck my octopus into the case. Let's go claim that. Oh, we've now completed We've completed it. Okay, what are we going to get this time? The Lost Angler's Rig Plans. We get a new fishing rod, people. How do I go and build this? A versatile angling equipment enabling the fish a variety of water conditions. This rig was once owned by the Lost Angler. Access the fishing rig by pressing triangle to cast your line. Okay, I guess I've got to install it first, though, and I haven't got half of that stuff. I don't think I can make hydraulic wirings. don't even know if I've got the blueprint to do so. I do. I need dehydrogen and carbon nanotubes. Well, the carbon nanotubes I might be able to rustle up. I would be able to. Hmm, leave it with me. I might be able to, I might be able to do that. Okay, chums, I've got all the ingredients I need. However, I think I need to take this one out first before it'll let me. So if I just take that out... Mm, okay. I want to keep it somewhere just in case something goes completely wrong. But if I go to multi tool now. Aha! So I can either have that one or that one. I don't know whether this is going to help me at all. But so far I haven't caught any legendary fish. But there we go, I've got it in. And now it looks pretty darn freaking awesome. Freaking epic. Lovely jubbly. Cool, yeah. Well, that's done. Um. So I think I'm at a decent place to sort of save off here. don't think there's any point in going up to the old Nexus at this point. So I'm just going to jump out of my ship. Now, I have put down a base computer right here. And that's going to make sense next episode, people. Because we're going on to Phase 5. And in Phase 5, we've got to sell 5,000 fish. Well, I haven't got a galactic trade terminal that I can put at my base. But guess what's at a trading post? A galactic trade terminal. But there's no water by this galactic trade terminal by this trading post. However, this is a water planet. You can see there's a body of water over in Horizon. But I'm wondering whether I can make my own water. I'm wondering if I can dig out a nice little swathe of landscape. Is that a diplo down there? It freaking is. Oh, that's a nice little find to have right at the end there. Anyway, people, so next episode, I'm going to be digging myself a pond. Yeah, I'm going to be digging a pond. Well, probably where that Diplo freaking is in that little recess. Yeah, that would probably be a nice spot for a pond. Heck yeah, until next time. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.